Well, hello, and thank you for joining us for our 21-day fast devotional. I hope these series of videos have been very encouraging and enriching to you. I know they've already been blessing me. Secondly, I want to applaud you. You've made it to day five. I know you probably didn't think you can make it this far, but look at God. You're learning an important principle of the Christian faith, which I believe God is always teaching all of us. And that is the principle of perseverance, because the truth is what we're doing. We're practicing for something in the future. And one day, maybe in the future, it may be a, a great challenge that we may have to encounter. And because we have practiced perseverance, we will be able to overcome. And so, again, I'm proud of you. I applaud you. And I surely want to encourage you to continue with your fast journey. Well, let's get into our topic today uh, in the Open My Eyes devotional by Franklin. Today's topic, the fifth day, is gratitude. And I, if I had a topic to put on this devotion, I would I would entitle it with this overcoming the struggle. And here's what I mean. We overcome the struggle with gratitude when we give thanks Somehow God enables us to overcome in ways we could never imagine. In other words, if I can put it another way, when we give thanks, something supernatural tends to happen. It may not happen in the way we think it ought to happen, but it happens in a way that we know God had to be a part of it. Let me give you two scriptures just for you to hang on for today uh, that you can use to pray and meditate on that I believe will encourage you. The first one is in Psalm 118, verse 29. And here's what it says. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. And the second scripture is, is found in Psalm 9, verse 1. And here's what it says. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. And I think the ancients understood something about giving thanks, that when we give thanks, not only do we overcome the struggle, but something supernatural tends to happen. And I want to give you two examples, and then I want to give you a word of encouragement at the end. The first one is found in Luke chapter 24. If you have time, take a look at it. It's, it's a story about the resurrected, say, our, our resurrected Savior, Jesus Christ. He encounters two disciples on what is called the road to Emmaus. And these two disciples are confused. They're defeated. They're distraught. They are ready to quit on life. Why? Because the Jesus they had trusted had been crucified. He had been killed. And they thought life was over. They thought their hopes were completely dashed. And here the resurrected Savior, Jesus Christ, shows up and meets them on that Emmaus road. And they have a conversation and they don't even recognize it's Jesus. And so Jesus sits down and has a meal with them. And during the meal, as Jesus is breaking the bread and passing out the wine, he does what he teaches us for all time. He gives thanks. Matter of fact, that moment is emblematic of what is called the Lord's Supper. We practice that on a regular basis. And I believe God gave it because he wants to show us that we overcome the struggle when we give thanks. When we make that a habit of life, when we make that a routine in life. Somehow God allows, God causes something supernatural to happen and we overcome the struggle. And so Jesus in that moment, he gives thanks. And what happens? He disappears right before their eyes. And in that moment, those two disciples, their eyes were open, the scripture says, and they realize Jesus is not dead. They've actually been with the Savior. Another example is kind of similar. It's found in Acts chapter 27, where the Apostle Paul is being shipped to Rome as a prisoner. And on the way, they encounter a tremendous storm, a hurricane, a typhoon kind of storm at, at sea. And, and I mean, they're doing everything to survive. It's about to destroy the ship. They're ditching cargo, they're ditching their tackle, they're ditching uh, shipping equipment, all kinds of things in an effort to remain afloat and to survive the storm. And just when it seems like they're about to lose their life, Paul does the unthinkable because in a situation like this, they don't know how long they're going to be out at sea. And so they're rationing their food. And Paul says to them, don't ration your food. You need to eat, eat something. And so they take his advice. And while they're eating, what does Paul do? He breaks bread, he passes out the food, the wine possibly, and he gives thanks. He gives thanks. And guess what happens the next day? They make it to shore and they're saved. And all I'm simply trying to say, something supernatural happens, y'all, 
when we give thanks on a regular basis. I'm telling you, something happens. It may not happen in the way we want. You may not see the risen Savior like those two disciples on the Emmaus Road, but something supernatural happens. And God uses that to help us overcome the struggle. So a couple of things as we wrap up here uh, about this, this fast process. Number one, I truly believe it's an illustration of the Christian faith and what it means to grow. Faith is a process. It's not perfection. It's a process. It's not perfection. It's a process. And God, I believe, is using the fast to show us the process of transformation Paul says in Romans 12, be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind, Romans 12 and 2. The faith, the life we live is a process where God transforms us on the inside. We can't do it ourselves. Too much of Christianity is cleaning up the outside while the inside remains the same. No, faith is a process of transformation. And sometimes those transformations are difficult. They're challenging and it's a struggle. Your body right now is shedding toxins and poisons and it's not it's not eating the foods it normally is used to eating. And you're probably feeling a little heavy, uh, he- healthy. Um, but the truth is um, your body is is it's 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 shedding all that stuff that shouldn't be in your body. You may be having headaches and those hunger pains, but really you're going through a process that is cleansing your body. That's really what we're going through. And I can feel it in my own body. And I'm like, okay, I need to eat probably more like this more often because the process is transformation. It's it's a process. And that's the one thing I know that God is teaching us. The second thing is that I believe God is teaching us that in the process, though we have dark moments, it's never the end. It's never the end. Paul is right. He who began a good work in us will complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is never finished with us. He's never finished with us. And I believe that's what he's teaching us in the fast. We may have those dark hunger pains. We may have those moments where we're just ready to quit and and throw in the towel and just break the fast and be done with it. But God is saying, no, persevere because there is life on the other side. It's never over. It's never the end. And that's a wonderful word for all of us. We need to get that, that no matter what life may throw our way, no matter what cards in life we may be dealt God still can get us a win and give us a winning hand in spite of the odds. Yes, he can do that. He really can. So there's one thing I want to encourage you for the rest of the fast. I want you to try something. I've done this for a full year. I'm doing it this year. I've got to the point I just do it every day, but I want to be intentional about it. I want to encourage you that before you rise in the morning and before you lay down twice a day, I want you to simply give thanks to the Lord. Thank him for the day. Lord, I thank you for what this day will bring. It may bring goodness. It may bring challenge. It may bring struggle. But I thank you that in spite of it, you have my life in your hands. And then when you come to the end of the day, Lord, you know what? It was a tough day or Lord, it was a great day. Either way, I give you thanks. God bless you. Stay with it. Persevere. God is doing a work in your life. And I'll see you in the next segment. Take care.